Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, on behalf of Christopher and Lauren, may I welcome you all here to Tindor Hall, here in the beautiful Vale of Llangollen, which has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. Croeso cynnes i chi gyd yma heddiw. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and family. Now, I'd like to personally thank you all for being here today and helping to make this a truly special occasion for all the memories that it will give Lauren and Christopher forever. And I have to say, Lauren, you look truly spectacular today. And so do you, Christopher. Now, it's an honour and a privilege to welcome you into our family today, the Stamford family. Never forget that. <laughs> How amazing does Lauren look today, everyone? Eh? There you I, re I really hope you do both have the most amazing lives together and I wish you both all the happiness uh, that you deserve. You're both great people and everyone in this room is very lucky to have you both in their lives. The first day I met you, I have seen in you something you often struggle to see in yourself, your worth. I see the joy you bring to a room, whether by a simple little smile, a cheesy joke or a goofy little chuckle. I see how intelligent you are and how the world is opened up to fresh new perspectives with your insight. Above all, I see your beauty, inside and out. I've even seen how you make me a better person, building me up and encouraging me to be more than what I am. On to the main event. My wife, Mrs. Lauren Stamford. So, usually the groom will use this time to explain how he met his wife. However, I first met Lauren at a drunken New Year's Eve party. And given that there are children in the room, I may have to skip over some of the finer details. As I mentioned in my vows before, we've been through some tough times together, but we always came through a stronger, better couple for it. For everything we have been through in our nearly nine years since meeting, I already feel like, for better or worse, we have already been through the worst. Which is why there was never a doubt in my mind eight and a half years ago back in Manchester when I asked you to be my girlfriend. There was never a doubt three years ago in Bled when I got down on one knee, held your hand and asked you to be my wife. And there was never a doubt in my mind this afternoon when I stood in front of all of our friends and family and swore to spend the rest of my life with you. And despite everything we've already been through, I feel like we are just getting started. You are my everything Lawrence Stanford, and to this day, I am still bowled over by you. 